Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how to downgrade iOS 16.02 to 15.7. First, you have to download the iOS 15.7 IPSW file. Uh, link is available in the description uh, for your appropriate iPhone model. We see I have an iPhone XS running iOS 16.02. Next, we have to open settings enter the Apple ID section and disable Find My to be able to restore this device. You need the Apple ID password and that's it. Find My is turned off. Next, you have to connect iPhone to computer using the USB to lightning cable that shipped with the device. You see it shows up in Finder on my MacBook Air. And now you have to make sure that you have a full backup of your device before you click Restore iPhone. Press the Alt Option key on your Mac and click Restore iPhone in the same time. And now select the previously downloaded IPSWV file. You're informed that your Mac will restore your iPhone to iOS 15.7 and verify it with Apple. Click continue. And now you'll have to be patient until the iPhone is prepared, restored and restarted. This process can take between 10 and 15 minutes. So just sit back and relax. Now I'm informed that the iPhone will restart. You see it booted. And now instead of configuring it, you have to go back uh, to the MacBook Air, uh, open Finder, click on the iPhone name and restore from this backup. Select the backup, your most recent backup and click continue. A very important note is that uh, the backup has to be done in iOS 15. So an iOS 16 backup won't, won't be able to be restored on iOS 15.7. That's very important. Okay, so after it restored, you see, restore completed. And now you go through the usual uh, iPhone setup steps. You create a new passcode or use your old one. Uh, you have to sign in with your Apple ID. And yeah, let me open here Finder again. And you can see it's iOS 15.7. The downgrade has completed successfully. Yeah, then what's left? You have to log in with your Apple ID. Sign in with two-factor authentication getting the code from a secondary Apple device that you're signing with the same iCloud ID, enable or disable location services, Siri, Apple Pay, and all the other on-screen prompts. And that's it. The downgrade is successful without any data loss. If you enjoy this guide, don't hesitate to comment, like, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.